My name is Amy Todd with Amy's Creative Wishes. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and I sell all the products I feature in these videos. Um, today, I, well, first I should say I'm early. I do apologize, but um, I have something to do after this video, so I wanted to get get on and show you what I'm what I'm creating today. So today we're using the Inspired Thoughts Bundle, which is a beautiful sentiment stamp set. And these beautiful trees dies. So there's the trees, there's different um, leaf type dies for the trees. There's this edge for a nice hill and a little circle for sun or moon. Um, we're using the tree die and these two leaf dies today. And this is the card we are making. So it's fairly simple, and that's the inside of the card. So for the inside of the card, I had to pull in another stamp set to add a tree. So I brought in the Beauty of Friendship stamp set, and I'm using this tree with these, this two-step stamp for leaves for the tree. And I'm also using the lovely Labels Pick-A-Punch. No, no, it's kind of glare. I don't know if that's any better. But you can get two different labels, um, three sizes in each label. So half inch, three quarters inch, and one inch for both. I'm using half an inch today, and we're going to be using this one on this side. That's for... The thank you so much sentiment on the front of the card. So let's get right in and I'll share everything you need for this. So I have a piece of Misty Moonlight cardstock. This measures eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I have a piece of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper. I showed this in my video a couple days ago where I showcased um, products that I had received from the new catalog. So it's got a bunch of leaves and trees and um, watercolor imaging on the back. It's, it's beautiful paper. So I have a piece of that that measures four by five and a quarter. I'm using the blue side to make it look like sky. I die cut the trees from crumb cake cardstock. Sorry, I see a couple pieces that I missed. So that's from crumb cake cardstock. I die cut four of each of those two leaf type images to go onto the trees. These are from Pear Pizzazz cardstock. And then I have a little half inch piece for my sentiment. Um, now it depends on the length of your sentiment, on how long you need the, this piece, but this, this measures three and a half, but I'll be trimming it down to, to fit. So the first thing I wanna do, oh, and I have a piece of basic white. That measures three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. That's for the inside. Let's start with the inside of the card and get that out of the way. So I'm using crumb cake and pear pizzazz ink. So we'll start with the crumb cake for the tree. There's the tree. And pear pizzazz. So this is the fuller, I don't know how to put it, the, the fuller image. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to put it. But I'm going to ink that up in pear pizzazz ink. Stamp off. And then stamp on the car, on the tree. So that's that. And then this one. 
which is the more detailed stamp. I'm stamping, inking that up in pear pizzazz, and I'm gonna stamp that right over top. I don't know how well I got that because my camera's in the way, but, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Let me close up the sink. Okay, so let's fold the card base, burnish it with my bone folder, and add your adhesive of choice. keep forgetting I need to buy blades for my stamp and trimmer. So, but in the meantime, I will just use Okay. So that's it. That's the inside of the card. I'm not putting a sentiment on the inside. I think the thank you so much on the outside is enough. And this gives me more room to write my message. So we will put that to the side. And then we're going to work on the trees. Now, I don't know if you can see. But on the card, I did my best to make the trees look 3D by adding some color to the trunks. So the way I did that was I just took the dark crumb cake Stampin' Blends and I just drew a line on the left hand side of the trunks. So I don't know. Can you see how that kind of makes it look 3D? Once it dries, it'll look a little lighter and then it'll really look, it'll look 3D. Um, you know, you know what? I'm going to put a little bit of light crumb cake over the top. I don't know if that's going to do much. I should probably use my Oh, I can't find it. What is this? Nope. I can't find it, but I was going to use my color lifter, but I'm sure that'll be fine. And then I just want to adhere that straight to the card, or straight to the, the DSP. Um... And unfortunately, normally I would have die cut this with um, adhesive sheets on the back. But I haven't been able to find my adhesive sheets since I moved. They have disappeared on me. And I, and I keep forgetting to order more of those as well. So for now, what I'm going to do is a glue trick I learned years ago. And it's my go-to when I don't have... And I don't have the adhesive sheets. So I'm taking a square, a, a quarter of a Stampin' sponge, some liquid glue, I may need more than that, but, and I'm just Sponging the glue on, and this will make it a sticker. So now it's just like a sticky sticker. Yeah. 
There. So there, that is attached. And now I'm going to do the same with these. Okay, now just bear with me while I get these done. Oh, no, I still have glue. Okay, I'm skipping over to the third tree because I want this tree to kind of st seem like it's in front of these two. So what I do is add those and then I will go back and add the ones for this tree on the top. Now, it probably won't show up quite right in the video. I don't know if you can, how you can see it, but these leaves being on top of these ones make it seem like this tree's in the forefront. And then this is the last one. That should be more than enough glue. Okay. Okay, so my hands are all sticky now from the glue, but that happens. Now, I want to trim these two and bring in my mini Stampin' Trimmer and line it up. Trim that. Now... Trim those, and there we go. Get all this and throw that in the garbage. Okay, so we have our main layer, and can you tell that the trees look 3D? With the way I use the Stampin' Blends, it just makes them pop a little bit too. So now to put it on the card, I'm gonna use Dimensionals. Because something needs to be popped up. The sentiment will be popped up as well, but. Okay. Dimensional backings, of course, are sticking to my fingers because my fingers are all sticky from the glue. Okay. So now this... Here, let me flatten that out. 
gets centered on the front of the card. And we're almost done. Now for the sentiment, which is says, thank you so much. And again, that's from the Inspired Thoughts stamp set right here. I'm going to use Misty Moonlight Ink to match the cardstock base. So I ink that up. Stamp down, that's kind of crooked. Oh, that one's worse. Okay, we'll just stick with the first one. It's not that bad. And then the lovely labels pick a punch. We're gonna use this side. So I'm just gonna take this, feed it in. Punch. Yep, that's pretty good. And now I want to trim this before feeding it in. Punch. Yeah, that. Oh well, it's homemade. It's as Rick, well, another demonstrator. Um, his name's Rick. Oh my goodness, I've forgotten his last name. But as he always says, it's handmade, not Hallmark. It's terrible. I can't remember his name, his last name. Okay, those dimensionals are done. One more in the middle for good measure. Okay. Uh, everything is sticky. Okay. Bring that back in. And just set the thing. Oh, maybe a little over more. The thank you so much right there. And there we go. There is our card for today. So this sky is a little lighter, but that's just how the DSP works. It's kind of like a... Almost... Like an ombre, it's, but I thought it looked kind of like clouds and sky, so, um, yeah, that is our card for today. Um, I don't see any comments, so, um, I'll check later to see if there's any comments, but, um, I hope you like the card for today. Next week, we will focus more on the Beauty of Friendship stamp set, along with the matching dies to go with it. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I did say I would use one stamp set this week and the other stamp set next week. I did use it this a little bit for the inside of the card. Um, but we'll use maybe some of the other trees next week. I'm not sure yet. I might use use both trees. Who knows? But um, thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you, Jennifer. I, I think it's a nice, simple card. And I have some thank you cards that I need to get into the mail. So um, I've received a lot of sympathy cards over the past month. So I want to get some thank you cards in the mail. I appreciate those people reaching out to me. And thinking of me um, during a very difficult time. Um, my mom passed away a few weeks ago. And just last week we had to put down one of our cats. So it's been a really rough month. Which is why you didn't see me for a couple of weeks on video. I just 
wasn't wasn't in a frame of mind to do some crafting, but I'm back now. I'm hoping to be on every week. I'm going to do my best to make sure that I'm here every Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And in the meantime, if you have any questions or if you like these products and you would like to order them, please reach out to me. Or you can shop at amyscreativewishes.stampinup.net. Uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can email me at amyscreativewishes at gmail.com or right here on my Facebook page and my YouTube channel as well. I will be uploading this to YouTube late, a little bit later. So I that's it for today. Thank you so very much for joining me. And oh, wait, before I almost forgot. If you live in Canada and you share this video and then comment shared on this original Facebook post, you will be entered into a draw to win one of these um, elements. So this is the metallic enamel shapes. Comes in gold and silver. There's stars, hearts, and circles. There's the star designer elements. They're copper. There's... This is an open pack, a used pack, but there's the beaded pearls. I have brand new packs of those. I can send one out, one out to you. And or the ice cream corner sprinkles. So, yes, if you share this video and comment share it on my Facebook post, then I will enter your name into a draw and whoever wins can choose whatever they like out of these four items um oh thank you for sharing jennifer i appreciate that you'll be entered into the draw so the yes that is it i don't think i've forgotten anything else um if i have forgotten something i will do a post later and but i don't think i've forgotten anything okay Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.